Hi everyone, I'm Jaco from Visor. Um, Visor is a platform for creating, publishing and discovering VR content on the web. Uh, we've been working on the platform since about 2011. Um, right now we're focusing on easy to use workflows for interactive 360 VR storytelling from starting to uh, sharing your 360 photos to augmenting them with uh, stories. But th it's, this is going to be built on a larger platform that we've been working on for a few years. So we've got a visual authoring suite, uh, features one-click publishing to the web, um, and a discovery system for finding content created in, in Visor. Um, the first, the, the build mode um, <clears throat> is a 3D compositing editor, basically a scene editor, uh, and an asset management system. You can drag, drag and drop assets, 3D models, GLTF, audio, video, images, all kinds of assets just straight into the browser and then position them in the, in the scene and uh, add uh, components onto entities. Uh, we're also kind of build, moving toward entity component system on top of the the node graph that we that we uh, create in the build mode, um, <clears throat> and then on top of those components, we want to provide like simple UIs for designers to use to adjust the parameters or colors and text and do, do those kinds of things without having to uh, change any code or any, any edit any code. And just for designers also to like create animations to be able to be triggered on uh, certain events um, or from code. Uh, so the build mode is really for designers and content creators. Uh, it features multi-user editing and undo today, and uh, it actually always operates on the underlying node graph, which is uh, which is uh, which I'll get to in a, in, a, in a bit. This is a uh, <coughs> version of the or view of the the, the build mode. Um, you can have uh, this resolution, maybe not so much, but. Uh, uh, I can show you a demo, a proper demo after. Um, and in the program mode, is, which is the node graph, we have a visual programming language with about more than 300 nodes uh, from math, logic, networking, 3JS, all kinds of HTML5 APIs uh, from WebSockets, <coughs> etc. And a pretty simple plugin API for JavaScript uh, to be able to add new nodes into, into Visor. And um, basically, the, the point from front point in the program mode is to create components for designers to drag and drop onto entities and into the scene, and you know, create uh, talk to the network and uh, you know, parse JSON and things like that. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, support for React VR and A-frame components uh, is planned. Uh, and some experiments have been done already, so you, hopefully in the, in the near future you'll be able to, for example, go to the a <coughs> component store and just, you know, or we'll, we'll be able to integrate it and just, you, you can just use components in, in uh, Visor. Um, yeah, this resolution isn't really doing us any favors, but... Um, <clears throat> the graph, the node graph, kind of looks a little bit like this, so... It, there's a there's a little camera. I don't know if you can make any of this out. There's a camera and a scene and some objects connected to the scene and some parameters uh, controlling uh, those uh, those those uh, objects. And then hitting the publish button on the top right, uh, you can uh, publish to the web and works on all web VR capable headsets on phones and desktop. Um, anywhere that uh, WebGL runs, so three billion seats. And, uh, <clears throat> and it can be embedded anywhere already today and uh, can go to VR from, from any web page. And so we optimize the hosting and do the CDN delivery and uh, have some integrated analytics planned. Um, this is an example of the sort of room configurator that was featured in the Oculus uh, Web VR talk to. Um, it's built by Sindra and it's, it's just a simple, uh, you know, Few, few dozens of nodes in the in the node graph, and then uh, you can explore content created in Visor on Visor.io, and uh, soon we'll be able to have you know in VR discovery in headsets and linking from uh, uh, you know link traversal and linking from Visor experience to Visor experience is already there, um, and some social community features are planned. Uh, Visor.io it looks like this. And some near future plans, as I said, 
we want to take all this, so the editor is really wide and not really focused on anything but web VR. You can do all kinds of, you know, over, you know, 300 plugins, etc. But the UX is kind of not focused on any one sort of use case. So we're taking the power of all of, of this platform and just making sort of very uh, narrow vertical slices like 360 uh, storytelling with, uh, you take a 360 photo and add some hotspots into it and audio hotspots and text hotspots, hotspots images and that kind of stuff and link to the next next image. And that's kind of where we see the most demand today for, for web VR. I mean, we've been uh, supporting web VR for well for since 2014 and that's that's like the mo number one demand is for for 360 photos with with something something added to them um, yeah and as I said you know, for support for uh, a frame react VR components and uh, local installs and developer workflows uh, so thank you very much go to wiser.io or blog our blog to uh, to get started with tutorials and we're open source and you can find the GitHub there. Thanks.